Hi guys, welcome to Tacos and Tandoori. We have a really cool episode today. We're gonna make tamales, not just the normal ones. We're gonna make them South style Mexico with banana leaf. Uh, much tastier. And we can also make some with the uh, sweet ones with uh, the corn husk. That's probably gonna be the dessert ones, but we're gonna do some really nice Asian mix to the tamales. This yeah. has never been done before. So, mm -hmm. what are you, what are you gonna, gonna do? I'm gonna mix it with rendang. Rendang is a very traditional uh, Malaysian dish. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do the rendang bit for the tamales. All right. Finally, I'm just gonna make a little mango spicy sauce to, you know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And today's guest. Today's guest. Julia Varigans, aka Lily and Co. Uh, Julia, Julia Vardigans with my two daughters, Amy Hi. and Lily. Hello. And uh, we are very much looking forward to tasting this, to being part of all this, and maybe playing a bit of music. We have a band called Lily and Co. There's Lily. And okay. We're very happy to be here today. First things first, we're gonna make the sauces, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna make the rundown. The run he's gonna make the rundown, what's it called? Rundown trankat. Uh, rundown trankat. Trankat, yes. <laughs> it's the first time I'm gonna do this, and I got this recipe is from Zila, uh, my sister in law. So I call it Zila's rundown trankat. Zila's rundown That's a mouthful. Yeah. Rundown is the dish, and trankat is uh, it's uplifting. The okay. moment you eat it, cool. it's going to be uplifting. You got all the recipes here. Right. <laughs> so, Is that cheating? Yeah, let's get it started, right? All right, guys, see you in a bit. So, for rendang, what we need is the meat. I already cut it to small stripes. Normally, we cut a cube, but uh, for tamales, I cut it to small stripes. Onions, baby onions. That will be the onions. No? Garlic. Um, fresh turmeric, ginger, galangal. Galangal is a, a family of um, ginger and galangal is chopped here. And we need um, lemongrass, dry chilies, it's about 13 pieces. So all this will be in blender. The, the blender. Are those what you would call um, shallots? Shal yeah, shallots. Shallot. You say baby no, onions, but they're... Shallots. Yeah. Yeah. But then the shallot has lots of different different types of shallots. Okay. Yeah, I like shallot to be more like. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's shallot. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So the shallots is in. Baby <laughs> garlic. Yeah. Yes. Um, galangal. It's from an like, ginger. Garlic. Garlic. Ginger. So it's okay. uh, lemongrass. Tequila. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. That comes apart yeah. or into And uh, turmeric. Fresh oh, turmeric. Oh, we've got one of these each. I picked the most. Fresh turmeric. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Excuse me. Add a bit of water. Oh, oh, oh. shit! I forgot the I forgot the the, the chilies. I forgot the chilies. <laughs> you forgot the chilies? I forgot the chilies. <laughs> the chilies is already soaked. You know, dry chilies is already all soaked nicely. What have you soaked it in? Water. Just water. Tell them what kind of chilies you use. Oh yeah, I use some normal dry Asian chilies and some of uh, Mexican jalapeno, right? Jalapeno. Very no, good. no, chile de árbol. Chile? Three chilies. Three of those right. babies. Red or red. All right, the next step is um, roasting the spices here. Coriander cumin and fennel seed. tamale stories I mean uh, you probably have some yeah some well um, many stories they used to live in Mexico and uh, I used to play in an orchestra and I remember we had a really really bad trip 
from Germany, me and the kids, after I had kids before. I used to live there before I had kids, but then I went back to visit. Really long trip, and by the time we got in the hire car and went along there, getting out of Cancun as quick as possible, because it's horrible, and getting ourselves on the route to Tulum, um, we were hanging out there in uh, Playa del Carmen, which is just, just shortly after Cancun, and hadn't been back to Mexico for ages, and suddenly somebody said, tamales, do you want tamales? And Well, it's not a big on story. Yeah, um, I mean, you know tamales for a long time, but the first time I had tamales was seven years ago, and it was just delicious. It was in Tulum on the beach, and that was like my first Mexican experience, just having tamales on the beach. Windy, but warm. Yeah, yeah. I remember it was That's odd that I haven't had tamales on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. What's well, still to do? Because, I don't know, for me it's almost like a cold weather kind of. Okay, tamales. Tamales? Tamales. Tamales. It's, it's, tamales. it's similar to making a tortilla dough, but it's going to be way more squishy, way more uh, humid. So all I did right here was put four cups of... Uh, yeah. Corn flour. Corn flour. There's uh, sea salt, like a tablespoon. That's baking powder. I'm going to add some butter because I didn't have lard. Normally it's tastier. I didn't find one, but you know, you can use any fat, you can even use oil, it'll work. Is it better with animal fat? I think the animal fat gives it a, tastier. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. no. the grandma's good. flavor, yeah. Manteca, and then I'm going to add some cumin as well, as we mentioned before, and I think that's it. And uh, a newspaper reporter came and said, Well, what's the name of your band? And I didn't intend to have a band, I didn't intend to make music, particularly with the kids, although that's my profession. And so somebody said, Well, there's Lily, Lily and Co. So that name is. There's, there's Lily, yeah. Yes, yeah, little baby in the band. don't play music, but. And now she Well, we, we had an Irish band, uh, we've been playing a long time, we've made five CDs. And um, recently we played uh, in the Tip Theatre in Mannheim, the Heidelberg, um, our latest CD release yeah. concert. Yeah. A bit of blues, yeah, a bit of jazz, a lot of little arrangements that I make, and a lot yeah. of Irish, basically our thing is Irish. I come from England, half yeah. Polish, come from England, children born in Germany. Germany. My son is half Mexican, he's not here, he used to play in the band. Barnaby, Vardigans, is another one of us. And together with... Um, Barney, these two guys have um, 
We'll put some uh, links in uh, the description. Kindred. Yeah, this is, this is also a little bit of plugging for you guys. <laughs> so they don't only love cooking, and they are fabulous at cooking. I mean, honestly, I've known these guys a long time. These are ace cookers. <laughs> <laughs> Can we actually eat with you as well? Are oh, we allowed yeah. to enjoy the food as well? Yes. No. no, once it's all cooked and that's it for you guys, it's a wrap, yeah? It's a wrap. It's a wrap. So now we add the meat, uh, beef. What do you think? How many tamales can we make from that? I've never made tamales. I was thinking actually. Oh, at least 15. Looks know. like, Probably. right? About 15. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Really? I would have made less to be so honest. So uh, let's make a second one. Okay. We're gonna make Amy make the next part with some fruits. Uh, so this is gonna be the savory one. Hi guys. Hi guys. That's like uh, my only camera right now. <laughs> yeah. And I might do some background. I think this is a good size for me because I just look at the <laughs> Anyway, four cups. <laughs> so what was it you said? Two, two cups. Cups are how So much? two cups is this much. I'm learning how to make tamales and how to enjoy them with an Asian touch. Uh, one mm. tablespoon of salt. <laughs> and the butter in there. Did you throw the butter? Hi, some fish. No, this is the butter. Putting it into the flour. Baking powder. So we'll have like one and a half of that, which is that one. Okay. So once that is all nice and cooking, we have the spices coming in. All that spices going in. And mix it well. All right, that's it. Then we're going to get um, the coconut milk in there. Absolutely. Right. It's amazing. Lime leaves is in, the next step is crease. Crease is uh, it's very important for for all rundang. So without crise, is there's no rundang. Crise? Um, no, it's uh, dry grated coconut. It smells Right, dry grated coconut. Exactly, and then you just uh, heat it up and then smash it until it becomes. Right. <laughs> Otherwise, people can't look for it. Kerise, K E R I S I K. Right? This is the one which is going to give the whole flavor to it. You can smell it. Yeah, it's coming out. No? I, I, wish they could, I wish the viewers could smell this. Yeah. And uh, all cameras or television should have a smell o vision. Yeah, a smell o vision. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, that's what I most oh, needed in Mexico. Is. I most craved was a way to capture the smell. Because you can take pictures, you can yeah. have a voice recording of, of sound, of yeah, but of, of pictures of images you can you can record that in some way on a picture, but smells you can't you can't bottle it up and bring it with you and take it home and just that's it. So creamy. Is that what? Because you put that in there. Um, yeah. It's almost like there's almonds in there, something nutty. Mm, all right. Uh, the spiciness is gone. Not as much, no, no. Yeah. yeah. It's still spicy, but it's not as much. Because you have quite a small bit anyway, but now, now it looks like you've got even more. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Can I do the duck fish, Jordan? Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Well, we need to try and watch this. 
Amazon Prime now. If you like our guests, please check out their work too. Yeah. Lily and Paul in YouTube. Yeah. If you Lily already went to a party, so. Yeah, she went to a party. <laughs> the call is yeah, still there. The call is there. But so. please check out Lily and Co. Lily and Co. film in YouTube is um, an hour long film of our latest CD release concert in, in Heidelberg. Cool.
Why? I think that's fantastic. I think that's fantastic. That wasn't me. Sorry. My time. My time. My time.